Well, one Simsport resident says a gas leak is harming his family and the neighborhood he lives in. He's asking for help, but it hasn't been an easy process. Colin Vidro is joining me in the studio to explain more. Colin? Yeah, that's right, Dylan. In a small Simsport neighborhood, residents want this gas leak contained, but they say local officials don't know whose jurisdiction it falls under, and that's causing issues. Seems like everyone's just passing the buck on them. Residents in the Norwood Drive neighborhood in Simsport say there's a smell in their neighborhood. They believe it could be a gas leak in the levee. Andre Webb is one of those residents. We've been having this gas leak for quite a while. We started experiencing around uh, the summertime, and it's gotten progressively worse as time has went on. That potential gas leak inside this levee that's right next to the Atchafalaya River. Webb says after he contacted Simsport's police drill representative, Simsport's maintenance supervisor, the Simsport Volunteer Fire Department, and the Atchafalaya River Levee Board, no one is taking responsibility. Everybody's kind of passing the buck, and, you know, it's... It's a dangerous situation, and we're trying to get it resolved before something catastrophic happens. According to Webb, some of his neighbors experience the gas smell in their homes, and it's causing adverse effects. Some of us are getting sick, waking up with headaches, nausea, um, difficult breathing sometimes, just depending on um, the direction of the wind. So who is responsible for fixing the possible gas leak? We reached out to the mayor of Simsport, Leslie Draper III, for clarity on the possible leak. In a partial statement to News Channel 5, Mayor Draper says, quote, our utility department responded several times by basic troubleshooting and getting the same results. The smell in question appears to be coming from the Atchafalaya levee. The town of Simsport does not have jurisdiction on the levee. That authority belongs to the Atchafalaya River Levee Board, and they have been notified. The statement goes on to read, quote, we have not been able to confirm its identity nor the location of the smell. However, we are seeking additional help and expertise to make that determination. We do not have the evidence to support that there is any threat to public safety. Ryan Ingalls, executive director of the Red River Atchafalaya and Bayou Boeuf Levee Board, says the levee system itself is under their jurisdiction, but any utility crossing is permitted and the responsibility of the utility owner. In this case, that would be the town of Simsport. The way the process would work, if they did uh, in fact, find a leak with it, um, where it crosses the levee, they're still responsible for, you know, repairing the leaks. They, they own the utility line. We just permit utilities to cross the levees. We don't operate and, and maintain the, the individual utility crossings. Ingalls says he reached out to Dana Smith, Simsport's maintenance supervisor, about the leak and says Smith is looking at finding a new sniffer to point out where the leak is coming from. Uh, I think it's just negligence. Just negligence. Webb says he wants to see the problem fixed immediately and to have someone take the necessary steps to correct the problem. You know, we can't wait till something catastrophic happen where people have, you know, we have loss of life or injury or even loss of property and then, you know, come and correct it once it can happen. You know, let's, let's kind of nip it in the bud. Let's get it done right away to, um, to settle this problem. Now, as of now, there is no timetable on when the potential gas leak is to be fixed. Dylan, back to you.